What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm Vlog. My name is Kevin and I'm out here with the goats in the barn. And if you've been following the series of videos we've been posting here lately, we've been working on this feed bunk in the barn. We've almost got it complete. But today we got to work on the gate for this area right here. This is the main door to the barn I come in when I'm ready to feed or to just to come check the goats in general. And I need to design a gate to go right here. So I'm not going to use it all the time, but if I come in and I want to get into the main barn area, I need a gate to be able to get through this wall here because down here on the other end, if you guys have been following along, you know I'm going to try to build some kind of little jump gate for our livestock guardian dogs to jump in and out of. Uh, but this gate here will be for me, and if we want to use this for like an alleyway, uh, we can always back the stock trailer straight up here to the door. We can use this gate to get the goats into this long alleyway. Then we can open this door to the, to the outside, back the stock trailer up, run them in the gate, what, whatever we want to do. And uh, this, this gate here, I think I'm going to run it horizontal just like I did on these boards. Sometimes I run them vertical, but I kind of want it to match a little bit. So uh, I'm going to have to uh, get creative in my head. And uh, it's not a real wide area. It's maybe 30 inches or so, maybe... 36 inches so it's not going to be a big gate but i want it to design it to where it don't get no sag or anything and start dragging on the ground so i'm going to go get some of my tools loaded up and uh, i don't think i'm going to lock the goats out of the barn this time i might try to do it with them standing here in my way so it might be comical you never know <coughs> I shone bright and my journey was over What I sought when I ran Was back where I began No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home Leave open the gate don't turn off the light, I'm coming home
nothing's as it seems in the photo Nothing is as sweet going so long Nowhere I can ramble or roam Could change my mind Could slow my coming home Right, guys the gate is done I went ahead and used the color scheme red white red white red white and so forth all the way down um, it opens this way as you can see it's pretty heavy but luckily I don't think I'm gonna have any sag because these this oak is very strong but uh, I went ahead and used that gorilla wood glue just to put on this side of all my horizontal boards because even over time sometimes even with all these screws sometimes the weight will actually make these things bow down so i just wanted to put the glue on there for a little more insurance the goats really seem to like it you can see they're checking it out <laughs> but now um what i've got to do is put some latches or a latch on to lock it and i just got 
little cheap latch from Tractor Supply, and uh, I'll probably put it up here on the highest. Because even though you use this, these little nosy suckers can reach up there with their noses, sometimes with their hoofs, and uh, they can reach way up there and actually open these type of latches. Because we got one in our uh, chicken coop, and uh, a few times I've had goats in there because they've had babies. And the goats have actually jumped up there being nosy and trying to figure out how to get out, and they hit the latch on there and uh, opened themselves up. So I went ahead and pre-drilled just about every single screw hole on all these boards and I had no cracking. I did have a few places you can see where the uh, moisture comes to the top of the board because these are not dry yet. They've just been sitting in my shop. But I do know one thing, this red oak compared to the white oak, it seems, it seems a lot stouter. I mean, this, this is some stout wood, stout oak. And you see me make a mess with all the wood glue. Man, that stuff is messy. I got it all over the hinges. I had to stop and get a rag and clean it up. So let me get this uh, latch put on there and we'll be just about done. All right guys, the latch is on. Let's see if it closes. All right, locked, good and sturdy. I don't think these uh, guts are gonna be able to knock it loose. Let's make sure I can get to it from the other side. What's nice is you can slam it and it locks. Mm -mm. So that's good and sturdy. I think that's. I think it's gonna work out excellent. This is gonna help me out a lot when it's time to feed these goats. Mm -mm. Alright guys, so this project is starting to wind down. The feed bunk has been working out excellent. And you, you can see the chickens have uh, taken up residence in this goat barn. And they know right where the food is. So now all I got left is the uh, jump gate for Daisy <clears throat> or whatever livestock guardian dog we got. So one thing I'm thinking about doing is you can see the end of this here. I don't know if I'm going to take it all the way out to this wall now or do I want to come off of this post and just make it go this way because actually this right here the feeder stops right here so all this right here would just be wasted anyways it would just be pretty much a wall and a gate for J daisy to jump through but if i take the wall from here over to that wall i'll still make the jump gate in there and then she can get in there <clears throat> where i feed her 
because like I said, the feeder stops right here. So this right here, anywhere past this post is just wasted space. And you know, they could come in here and lay in here or something. So I might just do that instead. And that will also beef this up just a little bit more so they can't be pushing on here. Because if you remember, these posts are not down in the ground. They're just setting on treated two by fours. So I'm really happy the way this is turning out. Using lumber from your own land that you milled yourself is just incredible. It's, a, it's an awesome feeling. And another thing is, it's pretty much free. I mean, of course, you gotta figure in the cost of everything. The sawmill, which isn't even mine, it's my best friend Dutch's. The sawmill costs a lot of money, but over time, if you plan on living on a farm or a homestead like this, and you do have an abundance of mature trees, it's definitely gonna pay for itself. So uh, I'm thankful to have uh, Dutch let me borrow this sawmill. It's already come in handy, as you guys can see. Look at this, we just got a gate built today. I mean, this is awesome. And we haven't even had to uh, saw up any trees here recently. Uh, this is all stuff that we sawed up. This is pretty much from two trees, a white oak and a red oak. And it was enough to do this whole project pretty much. I'm not done, but I think, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have enough. All right guys, so it is the last day of hunting season here in Oklahoma. So I'm gonna take Caleb this evening. So I'm gonna wrap things up. I'm gonna get everything picked up before these goats swallow a few screws. Cause like I said, they are super nosy, aren't you? So uh, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't checked out all the other build videos where we've been building this uh, feed bunk for our goats out of the, our saw milled lumber that we got from our property, go check out those past videos. Leave a comment down below, like this video, and we'll see you next time.